Hi everyone, if you watch my channel regularly, sometimes you'll hear me talk about an event that happened 10 or 20 years ago, and I'm describing almost every detail like it had just happened this morning, and I want to say it's a little bit of a curse. Uh, during this whole quarantine, uh, obviously I have a lot of time on my hands to rehash old memories, and um, so sometimes there are things that were not so pleasant, and because I remember them so razor sharply, uh, sometimes it almost becomes a curse. The other reason it becomes a curse is that because I, ima I, I, I remember things so vividly, I, I tend to imagine other people also remember things vividly, and sometimes I forget to remind people of the events before I dig into them. I'll, I'll uh, ask somebody uh, so something that happened last week or two weeks ago, and they, need, they really need to be refreshed on what's going on. This is most common uh, at, at my workplace. You know, uh, we were talking about something that happened two weeks ago, and I jumped straight to the topic without any context. And sometimes it gets, it gets uh, thrown out of proportion, actually. It's a big curse of mine. Uh, it makes it hard for me to move on from, from, from uh, things I, I really should be forgiving people for. So yesterday... I was thinking about a classmate of mine uh, when I was working on my PhD. You see, I lived with my family when I went to college, and uh, I, I didn't have any experience living by myself when I moved uh, out to, to work on my PhD. And um, my first, I think it was my second semester actually, my classmates knew uh, I had a, 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 a special diet that I needed to control. Uh, my autism, right? I have high-functioning autism. One time we had an event um, and um, several of my class, it was a, uh, people brought in food, right? And several of my classmates had talked to me ahead of time to make sure they could prepare something that I could eat, right? And I also prepared something from home. And then uh, I had talked to my classmates on multiple occasions about my restrictive diet, right, because we would go out to dinner or something like that, we would have some kind of birthday party, so they knew. Okay, so so several of my classmates uh, prepare something, which is good. It's not that I really need to eat at that event, but it was a very good uh, bonding experience. Okay, and one of my classmates, he showed up late to the event, he had brought something and then without even asking or anything, he just dumps it into, the, into one of the trays and contaminates one of the dishes, which was upsetting. Not because I necessarily wanted it, but because my other classmate had put so much effort into it. And I really couldn't make a scene right there and then because there were so many people there. And I thought I'll just talk to him later. And, and uh, you know, I, I ended up do, doing some other thing. I completely forgot to, to tell him about that. And, uh, uh, it, it, you know, it, it, it cast a pall on my feelings about my new friends now that I've moved out of my parents' home. And, uh, yeah, he, maybe he, because he doesn't have the, the health problems I do, maybe it just wasn't at, at the foreground of his mind. But... Yesterday, uh, I, I just happened to see him post something on Facebook, and so I sent him a private message. It wasn't on his, uh, I didn't post on his wall, obviously, but I said, you know, I want to talk to you about something. I, I completely forgot to tell you about this ten years ago. And he doesn't remember the event. He, he, he apologized if it had happened, but he, he didn't remember the event. And that haunts me that I can remember something in so much detail in ten years. Uh, which it makes it hard for me to forgive anybody. It makes it hard for me to move on and uh, It's like a sunk cost fallacy that always sits in the back of my mind uh, I'm very familiar with sunk cost fallacy nowadays, but I keep falling for it, right? Uh, if you just look at my my 401k of uh, there, you know, if, if, I, if I'm losing on a trade I tend not to close it although although I tend to only buy anyway. I don't really sell anything um, you look at my uh, coin collection. There are things that I really should get rid of and buy other coins, but I hold so much sentimental value. It's like, I've held this coin for 20 years, you know, to give it up would be, you know, it's a sunk cost fallacy. Same thing with the memory, the, 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 the taking up the, 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 the space in my, in my head. It, it's really a sunk cost. Unfortunately, I, I, I remember so much detail that it keeps, uh, it keeps nagging at me sometimes, to the point where 10 years later I would talk to my friend on Facebook over it. Um, obviously, uh, hopefully, we'll be going back to work soon, but I was just thinking about at the tutoring center, I have several cl uh, clients who have weird uh, behaviors, nothing crazy, but 
one of my one of my clients, uh, he's just not very observant of what's going on around him. Uh, he he comes in too early, and I'm still busy with something, and he doesn't. He, I, it, it's hard because we have a classroom, we have a waiting room. Everybody who arrives 10, 15 minutes waits in the waiting room. He comes directly into the classroom. And it's just weird for me to continue what I was doing. Sometimes I need to send out an email. Sometimes I'm eating. And uh, I'll have to see what I could do about that when I go back. Because it annoys the hell out of me every time that happens. And unfortunately, I remember those details in, in too, in too vividly sometimes. The point where it haunts me. Sometimes when I hear about people who suffer from Alzheimer's or something like that, I almost wish I had a mild form of that stuff. Uh, or, or even if I could just remember them less emotionally. Like, when I was thinking about the guy dumping his food onto the tray, I, I, I still carry the emotions when I relive those uh, moments for some reason. It's like a little bit of a curse. Uh, so I wonder, do you have any advantages that have become curses for you in your life? And how, do you, uh, how have you felt because of it? Uh, leave a comment if you have. Thanks for watching.